today you are going to start creating your company logo in class and to start make sure you have your company logo rubric open and make sure you look at all of the requirements under the description category here so pause if you need to and take a look at those to begin second thing you should do is you should open up the program we're going to use for this and it's called drawing so on your drive, click on create, and then you're going to go to drawing. And if you open this up, you'll see that it has a number of tools available. And just right from the start, know that you should create your logo to be as big as this canvas right here. It's just quite a bit easier to fit it and to put it in other programs because you're going to be putting this logo on your website and on other assignments as well if it fits in this space right here so just figure on expanding things or shrinking things to fit on this this will not change your logo will be saved as this size which is pretty standard That's what we'd like to have it be so the first thing you can do is you can copy and paste your the name of your business from your company bios which I told you to use a different font on so you can definitely choose a different font I happen to like the font that I used on my company bio so I'm gonna go find that a minute and paste that right in here so here's my company bio I'm going to copy this and then I'm gonna paste that into this text box I just made on my drawing tool and that's not nearly big enough so I'm gonna just grab the text here if it lets me that is there we go and I'm gonna make that much larger try that to start so the first thing you should do is go grab your text put in a text box make it large enough if your logo is gonna be this big and then just make sure that um, the text box is pulled nice and close around that. So that's the first step. The next thing that you want to do is you'll want to find an image to go in your, your logo. Because if you go to the rubric, it needs two text boxes. So we've got one so far. And it needs to have one image. So let's find that image right now. And I think the best way to do that would be to just Google search that. So I'm just going to type in a Google page. And I am going to look for counseling logos since my company is a counseling center. And I'm going to choose images. And then right here under search tools, I am going to switch the usage rights so I know, whoops, so I know I am not using something that's licensed. Like I couldn't use these because people made them. I'm going to label, get ones that are labeled for reuse. Or maybe I'll switch to counseling center. Counseling Center logo would be best. Okay, I've got some stuff to work with here. Uh, I'm going to spend a minute looking through this and seeing if there's anything there that I could use. I did not find anything I liked with searching Counseling Center logo. So since the name of my company is Open Hands, maybe that's a good thing to search. So I'm going to do a second search and I'm going to make sure that I'm only finding things that are labeled for reuse. And I'm just going to type in open hands. I'm going to try to avoid being cheesy. And as I look around these, uh, I see that the least cheesy and maybe the best representation of what I want to do is right here. So I am going to click on this photo and I'm going to copy it. Although I don't like it that it went checkered like that. So I'm going to go back. Oops. And I'm going to copy that image. And I'm going to paste that image into 
my logo. Now you'll notice when I drag it up, I don't like it like that. I want something else in the front. So all I have to do to make that happen is click on what I want to be in front, right click, go down to where it says order, and click on bring to front. And you'll see now my text goes right in front of this box. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to insert another text box for two reasons. One is that on the logo it says to use at least two text boxes. We've already used one. And what will go in that text box? Well, it says to include your company name and your mission statement or slogan. So it may be helpful for all of you to open up your company overview as well. I'm going to open up mine and to remember what your slogan is. Your mission statement and your tagline or slogan. So mine, as you've already read, is this right here. I think out of these two, this would probably be the better thing to include on a logo. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to take a text box and I'm going to insert it right down here and I'm going to paste my mission statement or slogan depending on what you choose into there and I'm going to switch the font and I could choose lots of different fonts here I'm looking for something that fits my business a counseling center and that also will complement my other text which is right here as well and I'm going to choose this top one and I like the way that looks but it's not nearly big enough so I'm going to try choosing 30 and I think for the most part that should look pretty good so now if I go back to the rubric I can see that I have company name I have mission statement I think it communicates the service because I have said I'm a counseling center on there. I have way too much dead space on it. So I know I need to change that. So I'm going to go back to my drawing. And I'd like, since I know I can't change the background of this picture, it's a JPEG that I brought from the internet, so I cannot change this from white. It's going to stay. I'm going to make the rest of the background of my logo white. Here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a text box and I'm going to draw it along the outside edge, right about the outside edge of the canvas. So I'm going to stretch it a little bit where I need to to make it cover the canvas. And I'm going to change the fill color of that text box. And right here, this paint can is the fill color and I'm just going to choose white. So now everything went white so I'm going to send that to the back and everything should appear. Hey, look at that. So now I've got everything here. The only thing I'm going to want to adjust a little bit is to stretch out my items here to make them fill up the white space a little bit more. So I'm going to change my, I'm going to manually change my font size here to let's say 50, let's just go 56. I like that. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Let's try 58. I'm going to go one bigger, I'm going to go 60. All right. Let's see if I can stretch it so it gets all the way to the edge. Perfect. So now I made my font bigger. I can stretch out this logo a little bit too, although I want to watch what it does to the image. You see there's some little bit of graininess that's happening because of the image resolution. And I don't really like that, but it's, it's better for me, I think, to have this image a little bit bigger. I'm going to center that a little bit more on open hands, or I guess on hands and counseling. And then I'm going to move my mission statement down a little bit too so that it's 
it's not so scrunched in there. All right, very good. So now I've done all the designing that I need to. I like the way my logo looks. I'm going to check the rubric one more time. I already checked this and this. Uh, we eliminated a lot of that dead space. Since I used something that wasn't licensed, I can say that my logo is original. And I've used two text boxes, one image, and I've used two different fonts. Let's check that again. One text box, two text boxes, an image, and these are different fonts. Pretty simple way to create your logo. It is a little bit limited. Um, I don't know of a way to, I, I would like to wrap this down a little bit so this made kind of an arc. Um, that I don't know that it's possible in this particular program. But in terms of what we need to do in this class, uh, this, will, this will certainly work. So my last step is going to be saving this in a form that I can put it in lots of other stuff. I can definitely put this on my site. I'll show you. I've already put this on my site. You'll see right here, you can insert a logo and it will look like this. But I'd like you to also save your drawing. If you go to File to Download As, go to JPEG. It will go into your Downloads folder. And then I'm going to pick the folder where I want to put that in my Google Drive, or you can just put it on your Google Drive. I'm going to click Upload, choose Files, and then I'm going to go find that. You can see I've done a few tests here. This is the one I just did. So I click on that, and you will see that that drawing went into my Google Drive here as a JPEG. Now I'm going to rename it. Where I right clicked, went to rename, and I'm going to choose logo number two since I already created another one. And so I have my logo right here on my Google Drive as a JPEG. And that's going to be helpful down the road. So I'd also like you to do that. You may turn in your logo, either your drawing or your JPEG. Either way is fine. All right, go to it and enjoy. Have some fun with this.